Hello friends, in this video we will see the manufacturing of cement that is mixing of raw materials then burning into the cane then the burning till the formation of clinkers then addition of gypsum and finally the product which we get is called as cement that we will see in this video. <music> How the cement is manufactured that we will see now. First, the raw materials are taken. The raw materials may be calcareous as I have seen in the definition of cement. Then it may be argillaceous materials or they are siliceous materials. So this calcareous or argillaceous materials are taken. These are raw materials then they are blended or mixed in required proportions now after the mixing they are burned in kin and after that they are grinded in a ball mill after the burning they are burned till the clinkers are formed and after the clinkers are formed the gypsum is added which is generally 3 to 5 percent and after the grinding process they are then taken into the silos and after that they are taken for packaging so this is general procedure or general manufacturing process the burn the burning temperature in the kiln is generally 1400 degree celsius to 1500 degree celsius so first the raw materials are taken the raw materials are calcareous or argillaceous materials calcareous materials will have calcium argillaceous material will have alumina now these materials are taken or mixed or in the blended in required proportions and after taking it into the required proportion they are taken into the kin where they are burned at a temperature of 1400 degrees celsius to 1500 degrees celsius up to the formation of small clinkers and after the formation of these clinkers the gypsum is added which is generally 3 to 5 percent and they are grinded into the ball mill then they are taken into the silos and packaging is done so this is the small procedure of manufacturing of cement so this is general procedure but we have two different procedures also that is dry procedure and wet process of cement in dry process of manufacturing of cement dry air is used or compressed air is used and in wet process water is added in the manufacturing process so we will see different what is dry process and what is the procedure of manufacturing of cement in dry ways and in the wet process the first process of manufacturing of cement is the dry process in dry process we will use compressed air so what is the procedure first we will take the raw materials these raw materials are calcareous and argillaceous materials this calcareous and argillaceous materials first they are crushed to get 3 to 5 centimeter pieces then they are taken to ball mill where they are grinded to get fine particles Now, after they are grinded, they are taken to or stored in hopper after the screening. They are stored here in the hopper. Then, they are taken to kin for burning process. And this burning is carried out at a temperature of 1400. 1500 degrees Celsius by using compressed air so we are not adding water in it 
So that's why this procedure is said to be dry process. Now the next thing. Now they are burned until the clinkers are formed and after the formation of clinkers we add gypsum in it and gypsum percentage is generally 3 to 5 percent and one more thing this skin is nothing but a rotary cream which is rotary type of skin and the burning process is carried out in this by using compressed air and this burning process is carried out till the formation of clinkers and after the formation of clinker, gypsum is added. Then, at the last, they are stored in silos. And finally, they are dispatched after the packing. So, we will now revise it. In the dry process, as I told you, dry process will have compressed air and there is no use of water. First, the raw materials will be taken. The raw materials will be either calcareous materials that is calcium or argillaceous materials that is alumina. These raw materials are first crushed as they are in bigger sizes. Therefore, they are crunched to 2 to 5 centimeter pieces. Then after the crushing, they are then grinded in the ball mill. What is this ball mill? It is nothing but a type of grinder in which the materials are grinded up to the fine particles. Now, after the formation of these fine particles, they are taken into the correct proportions and they are stored in hopper where after the screening and after the screening they are taken to kin and the type of kin is here rotary type of kin in which the burning process is carried out at a temperature of 1400 degrees celsius to 1500 degrees celsius and the use of compressed air is done here only and this process is carried out until the formation of small clinkers and this clinkers after the formation of this clinkers gypsum is added which is generally 3 to 5 percent and finally they are stored in the silos from where they are taken and dispatched after the packing. So this was the dry process of manufacturing of cement. The second type of process is wet process of manufacturing of cement. So as the name says wet process will have use of water to make the slurry of cement. So the procedure starts with taking raw materials. The raw materials may be, as I told you, calcareous and argillaceous materials. This calcareous materials and argillaceous materials are first taken. The calcareous materials are crushed in crusher and argillaceous materials are washed in container these calcareous materials which are crushed are then stored in silos and the argillaceous material which are washed are then taken into basin for the storage then the weight grinding is carried out by addition of water and slurry is formed then this slurry is taken into corrected proportions and this slurry is called as corrected slurry now this slurry is then taken into the kin and it is burned at a temperature of 1400 degrees Celsius to 1500 degrees Celsius. Now, this corrected slurry is then stored in storage tank from where it is taken to rotary kin for burning process. And this burning process is carried out at a temperature of 1400 degrees Celsius to 1500 degrees Celsius. And the type of kin used is rotary type of kin. Then after the burning, the clinkers are formed. And these clinkers are then added with gypsum which is generally taken in 3 to 5 percent. 
and then they are again mixed and blended and grinded in ball mill. Then finally, this grinded cement is then stored in silos and it is then dispatched after packing. So we will see, first the wet process starts with taking the raw materials. The raw materials are calcareous materials and argillaceous materials. These calcareous materials are crushed in crusher and argillaceous materials are then washed in container. After the crushing of these calcareous materials, they are stored in silos and here the washed argillaceous material is taken from the container to the basin for the storage. Now, these materials are taken for the wet grinding and slurry is formed. As we add water here, the slurry is formed and that slurry is nothing but wet slurry because of wet grinding. And after this, this slurry is taken into corrected proportion as we required some standard proportions. So that slurry is called as corrected slurry and this corrected slurry is then stored in the storage tank from where it is taken to rotary cane where the temperature is 1400 degrees celsius to 1500 degrees celsius at this temperature that is 1400 degrees celsius to 1500 degrees celsius the formation of clinkers happen after the formation of clinkers the gypsum is added which is generally three to five percent and then they are blended and grinded in ball mill ball mill is nothing but a type of grinder where the materials are grinded the materials are clinker and gypsum and then finally they are stored in silos and they are dispatched after the packing. So this was the wet process of manufacturing of cement. Thank you.